Okay, let's see if we got this going today. Hopefully everything will look good today. Let's see, so far so good. Oh, Beverly, you're the first one here. Good morning, my love. Hello, hello. Let's see, people are starting to hop on. Hi, Don. Hi, Bonnie in Florida. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Chris. Hi, Poppy21. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Susan on Facebook. Hi, Tiffany and Robin and Shelby. Good morning. And Amanda and Gretchen. Good morning. Hi, M. Mays. Hi, Ida on Facebook. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Hi, Linda. Hi, Irene. Hi, Russ. I feel like I haven't seen your name in a while, Russ. I hope everything's good. Um, let's see. Hi, Deborah and Stephanie K. Good morning. Hi, Judy and Susan and Gina. And let's see. Oh, something happened up here. Okay. Hi, Dolores in Maryland. Hi, Deborah in sunny North Carolina. Hi, Susan. We don't have sun here today. Hi, Debbie and Murrieta. Good morning, Debbie. Hi. Oh, two Debbies right in a row. Look at that. Hi, Diane. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Stephanie Weigerman. Good morning. Hi, Lori. I always like to say whenever it's anybody Stephanie, I always like to say their last initial or their last name because otherwise it sounds like I'm saying hi to myself. <laughs> hi, Frank and Sharon. Good morning. Hi, Cheryl in Rescue, California. I don't think I've ever heard of Rescue, California. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Hi, Bernice in Sacramento and Eleanor. Good morning. Hi, Carol. No sun in Ohio. Well, I feel you. There is no sun here. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Hi, Connie. Hi, Jane. Hi, Vicki. Good morning to you. Hi, Kelly and Michelle in Illinois and Debbie in Kansas. Um, Deborah says, was there to be a freebie in this month's club? Uh, yes. Yes. For uh, for sure, the Die Hard. I don't know about Stamp, um, but for sure, the Die Hard. Yes. Um, good morning from, speaking of freebies, actually. Oh, Kelly's in humid Houston. Yes. Texas is humid, um, and especially Houston because it's so close to the ocean, huh? Um, oh, Illinois, it's 39, Carla said in Illinois. Woo! Caroline is Ontario in Ontario, California. I'm um, Canada, sorry. Um, hi, Janet in Maryland. Hi, Jill. She says I make her Mondays. Oh, my gosh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hi, Tammy. Oh, Tammy wants me to remind you to like, like, like. Yes, please, please, please. Um, hi, Vicki in Massachusetts. And April is in Portland, Oregon. Isn't this fun that we can like all get together, even though we're David Murray, what are you doing here? You go away. I'm just kidding. Hi. <laughs> I just said your name that you're watching. Uh, hi, April. Good morning. Hi, Don. Hi, Lisa. Uh, hi, Jennifer on Facebook. Good morning. Hi, Karen in North Georgia. Hi, April in St. Louis. Hello. Hi, Barb. Good morning. Um, so Hi, Lou Jean in Pennsylvania. Uh, I, isn't it cool how we can all get together? Hi, Jennifer in Michigan. Isn't it cool how we can literally all get together and like we're all over the world? Well, technically, I think we're mostly in the United States right now, but there's a couple every once in a while. I'll see a couple people. Um, hi, Y2K Bass in California. Good morning. Hi, Nydia. Hi, Janet. Hi, Francisco. Oh, there's a Switzerland. There we go. There we go. Hi, Connie. She got her freebie today. Good morning. Hi, Bree in Ohio. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Corinna. She says she's in a meeting, but she's here with the volume on low. Corinna, don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Hi, Deb Stamper. Gosh, I want to change my last name. Not really, but that'd be such a cool last name. Um, hi, Anna. She says, I hope all is well. All is well. Ooh, Addie, Addie is doing some um, organization today. You know what? What is it about organization? I mean, I know we all love TIFF, but I love to organize also. I really like to get my label maker out and really just organize stuff. Organize, organize. Karen says, hi from rainy Oklahoma. It's a good day to stay home and play with seahorses. I know. What sound do seahorses make? Nay. Get it? Because that's my baby's joke. Um... Y2K got her online class. Fantastic. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, Marianne got her stamps and dies in the mail today. Yay. Hi, Serenity. Hi, Peggy. Um, April says she's organizing her pantry. April, I would literally give one of my fingers to have, because I can't say like hands or something, but I would, I do not have a pantry and nothing not even like nothing, no pantry. And let me just tell you, I bought 
I see, I can't go to Costco. That's the problem. I bought one of those big, massive cookie organic, because it's organic. KJ likes them to be all organic. Organic animal cookies at Costco. Yeah, where am I supposed to put that? Do you want to know where it is right now? Because I can't keep it on the counter because the babies will cry for it all the time. Hi, Gail in Torrance, California, catching a live from spring break. Um, she, uh, the, um, the animal cookies, the big old bin of animal cookies is in my pots and pans cabinet because I have no pantry. Let me just tell you, it is the worst. Teresa got her freebie, yay, and she got her buy the seat kit. Let me just tell you, you guys, that buy the seat kit is almost out. I think we, well, hang on. You know what? I shouldn't say anything because I haven't looked all weekend. But, oh, it oh, it's so funny when my website says I have to log in. Don't you think, like, I shouldn't have to log in? <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, I just think it's funny I have to log in. Hi, Reagan, and call the Rado. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let's look at how many of those we have left, because I know that might be a question today. Um, hi, Erin. Erin, oh my gosh, how are you? Good morning. Kathy says, can you come organize me? Well, somebody needs to come organize me first, <laughs> but I just like to, I like the thought of it, really. Um, okay, so we're down to the last 20% on by the sea. So it's getting low. Just a heads up. Those of you that are waiting, um, get it soon. Um, get it soon. Um, oh, Darlene says she bought an extra sea kit uh, under the sea kit. I mean, extra sea kit for her friend as a gift. Oh, how nice. That was very nice. Buy the sea kit and love it. Susan says my most favorite kit yet. Susan, me too. Me too by far. By far, by far, by far. My favorite. Hi, Pam. Good morning. Um, uh, I guess it was right. It was well brief from Ohio. Good morning. Um, the seat by the seat kit is awesome. Thank you. Judy says, got it. Love it. Um, Andy says, I wish I could make as much money as a professional organizer as I do my actual job. Andy, you know what? They make good money. They really do. Because when Kirsten moved into her house, obviously with twins, you can't do much organizing. And she had some organizers come in and it cost a fortune, but she got a bonus. And so she said, I'm going to use it for this. And let me just tell you, they make good money. So you might want to like do a little side gig there or something see if you can make it work. Oh, Russ got his um, buy the seat kit and the purple Totally Tiffany bags on Saturday. Oh! Those purple totally Tiffany bags. Now, a heads up on that also, you guys, that is exclusive to us. And once they are gone, they are gone forever, okay? Because we will not be reordering them. They come in the Kirsten and the uh, two Karens, which Karen's like probably the most popular um, totally Tiffany bag ever in the history of totally Tiffany. I'm looking for it on my inventory to see where I'm at on that. Hang on. I'm just trying to find it and I can't find it. Uh, that's kind of weird. Hang on. Let me do it a different way. But, um, just a heads up on that again, once it's gone, it's, it's, it's sad because, you know, when things are limited is literally they'll go out of, out of stock and then boom, somebody will say, Oh, I wanted that. Mm, you know, um, Will you be making a smaller seahorse? Probably not at this time because the seahorse is, um, long and skinny and there's really no way it's a slimline size it's really no way to make it short and fat um some some designs literally will say hey i can't be that size you have to make me this size so what i've done actually hang on i'll show you this because this is kind of interesting um what i've done is i have created this um cheat sheet for myself um and what it looks like, oh, hang on, there's a question. Um, Kathy says, I love the purple, but was wondering why that purple bundle costs more than two Karens and a Kirsten, even with the extra pockets. Well, it comes with two packs of pockets um, for the for the Karen. And I don't know how much extra it really actually is, but um, we it, it, it's a limited edition. No one else has it. So Crafter's Companion only made them for us. And so you know, it's like a special order. So that, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same price as the ones that they make 
thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of because um, we have to pay more for just a small quantity. So that's why. Um, but here we go. Um, here is, but I don't think it's that much more. Um, hang on, let me look. Uh, hang on, let me do this. Because it's saying that the retail value is $52.99 um, and our price is $49.99. So it's showing the retail price is $52.99. So I, I don't, I haven't done the math on it officially, or maybe I did 100 years ago. <laughs> okay, but here I have this fun cheat sheet. Actually, technically, I think it goes like this. But I have all of the sizes on here, starting with A1 all the way to slimline. So when I'm designing something, hi, Shirley, good morning. Or actually, it's afternoon. She's getting ready to go to go to sleep because it's her third afternoon life. <laughs> um, but look at how cute this is. So this is the perfect example of, okay, well, the seahorse fits in the slimline size. Um, it couldn't fit like in the five by seven because it's not short and fat or the A1 or, you know, so this gives me a really good idea of like, okay, what size can it fit in? Where, what does the design require? Um, I don't always get to pick because sometimes I'm like, oh, I want it to be a size and I'm like, oh, no, it can't be because that would make it look funny. So I literally have this, I have a piece of plastic over my, um, desk. And so I have a lot of things like underneath it. So I can keep it like, for example, I also have this picture. I'm sure you guys have seen this picture before. This is from the baby's first birthday party. Um, I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, um, but this is a picture I have um, from the baby's first birthday party. So I keep it literally under the under the plastic so it doesn't get messy. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Pamela says, I got a text that my kit was supposed to be delivered Saturday, but I never got it. Hope it comes today. Yeah. You know what, Lisa, you can, um, you can track it. So go track it and see where it is. Maybe somebody decided not to deliver it, um, after all on Saturday or something. Um, would I ever consider making a six card dies? Probably not Marianne, just because I feel like we have so many already. We have one, two, three, four, five, five sizes already. And it start. it gets a little confusing for people. Um, um, Kim, you need to contact our office and they can fix that for you. Um, Lisa says, Stephanie, I've been paid to organize. I love it. Good money, even as a side hustle. Perfect, Lisa. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Have you decided on the timeline on when to bring back limited edition fold it dies? Um, that limited edition fold it dies, which one? because most of them are back on the schedule on our release schedule in house. Is there a certain one you're looking for Sandra? Um, because nice a dog, um, because we do try to make sure they get back on the schedule. Hi Quilty. Good morning. Good morning. Um, hang on. I got to find some chapstick. Um, Pam says, when would we be able to get a copy of your cheat sheet for the card sizes? Sure. My dear. Um, I will get Amy to add that to our website. The cool thing is also is I made the lines all different colors. So like when it gets a little confusing, you can see the different colors. So that kind of helps too. But yeah, I can have Amy add that to the website. Um, absolutely. Um, hi, Kate. Good morning. Um, when will the pinata fold it come out? That I believe... Where's the pinata? Uh, hang on, let me search pinata. It's probably faster. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? It's it's saying it's showing it to me, but I don't see it. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, that is coming out June in June. Um, the pinata folded is coming out in June. Hi, Carol in Ohio. Good morning. Are you still waiting for the Tolly Tiffany Slimline Buddy Bag? Yeah, Sherry, and I'm going to be waiting a long time. It's not going to happen. Uh, I've talked to Tiff. It's 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 far, far, far in the future. Um, uh, Debbie says, I was just thinking about how helpful that would be for planning cards. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a taco fold it coming? Lori wants to know. Yes, there is, my dear. And it is coming soon. Sooner than, where is that? Oh my goodness. Hang on. 
Uh, I gotta search that one because that one I really thought. Oh, that one's coming in June also. How did all of those get hit in June? That's kind of funny. So yeah, that one's coming in June also. Although I kind of feel like we should move that one up. So yeah, we're doing a special online event. Just you might want to mark your calendars on Tuesday, April 26th. It's on our event calendar, I've been told. It's on our event calendar, I've been told. Um, and we are going to have another Crafters Companion special limited edition exclusive bundle that night. Um, so that's April 26th on Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, so heads up on that. Um, a coconut drink fold, it would be really cute. I don't know if that's on my list. Hang on, let me write that down. I don't know if that's on my list. Um, coconut fold it. Uh, oh, good. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Frank and Sharon say, Sharon and I finally settled into a pattern. She tries to organize everything I get off the Stamps of Life site. I love it. I love it. Um, I know. Pharrell says, too bad the pinata and taco won't be available for Cinco de Mayo. I know. That's why I'm looking at this going, why is it not? Um, I might try to move that up. Um, it'd be a little tight, though, even if we did it on the 426 date. So, um, yeah, I'm, I was a little surprised to see that, too, um, which shouldn't be surprised because I'm the one that put it on the schedule. But, you know, you never know. So Linda says, uh, the Thursday class starts this week, correct? Yes, the Thursday. So the Crafting Corner Thursday um, is going to be starting this week, 5 p.m. Pacific. So it, not 11 a.m. Pacific. It'll be 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, um, we did um, some market research. Oh my gosh, that makes us sound like so important. Not, but uh, we... Um, have that on our schedule uh, to start doing that at 5 p.m. Pacific. So hopefully more people will be able to see. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Kim, um, actually, I'm not sure if that's on the release schedule or not. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. But if you missed it on Thursday, um, the, the Crafting Corner, don't worry. It's all recorded. So you get to see it whenever you want. So if that doesn't work. Um, speed cat Beth says my notifications aren't working. You know what you should do is like say no more notifications and then try it again. Um, that might help. Won't that interrupt your dinner? Jeannie, I don't, I, we don't eat normal, um, dinner time. So, uh, yeah, it won't. Um, Y2K says that's 5 PM Pacific, 6 PM mountain, seven central and eight Eastern. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Serenity says, I love that time because I won't have to sneak while at work. Yes. I don't want you to get into any trouble. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yes, there's a lot of foldits, you guys in the works. I, I, I have a problem because I'm addicted to the foldits and I know a lot of you are too. Um, the problem is, is I want to do a fold it like every release and the team's going, Stephanie, you have to diversify more. You can't have fold it's on every release. So yes, there's a lot on the list. Let me tell you. Um, definitely a lot on the list. Uh, it's really hard for me. Um, uh, Pharrell says, yay, the new time is great. Now I can watch again. Good, 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 good. Yes. I love the fold it's Jen. It says, yes. Um, Rhoda says, hi, just got back from physical therapy. Feeling good. Yay. I love it. I love it. That's good. Uh, uh, Mary, Aunt Mary, we have a lot more coming, a lot more coming. Uh, let's see. Yes, you can. Um, the word fold it's are my big time faves. Darling. Yeah, we have, we have so many word fold it's coming still. So many done. Um, any new little peeps coming this month? Let your yes. There is a little peep coming on the 15th of this month, and it's gonna be a popular one because well, I shouldn't say, but it's a little girl, but it's really cute. Um, but those of you that don't like little girls, we also have a little boy thing coming up on the 15th, but it's not necessarily just for boys. I'm so excited. Stephanie K says, how's your dad, Stephanie, with his knee and, and physical therapy? He's doing, Tabitha, yes, I'm working on that. He is doing, Stephanie, he's, thanks for asking. He's doing much better. 
Um, I saw him on Friday. He came over and um, he he came over on uh, Friday with my mom and the babies were here. So there was, there was a handful of people here and we got to see them. And then the babies went home and then we um, went up to dinner. So that was very nice. That was very nice. Um, will we be coming out with a five by seven envelope die? Y2K, unfortunately we won't because it's too big for a machine. Uh, it doesn't fit in the standard eight and a half by 11 machines. They're just too big. Um, Arlette says, do you know when the card, um, and envelope number two from HSN will be coming out? Um, it is on the list, but I think, ooh, I, it'll be on the 25th. That's all I can say. I don't know what month though. Um, oh, it looks like, ooh, not till September, September. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris, actually, that's something that's coming um, in the future. Yes. A pansy folded. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Wouldn't that be beautiful? Um, actually, hang on. I want to write that down because that pansy, I'm madly in love with that pansy. I mean, madly in love with that. Um, a hexagon flip it. Um, that is, uh, not on the schedule and Jeannie, the other one, um, it's, it's in planning stages. Yeah. Everything is, you know, has to be planned, has to be designed, has to be everything. Um, so let me give you updates on the FAM. Uh, let's see. We babysat the babies on Saturday night. So Kenny, I mean, so, uh, Kirsten and Colin can have date night. And that's what we do, try to do every Saturday night. And Liam has decided his favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do is play I Spy. Because Nana taught him how to play I Spy. So usually like when we're walking, um, when we walk to the park or something like that to keep them entertained, we play I Spy. So I Spy with my little eye, something that is, and then I pick a color and then they have to find something with that color. And when they're in their height, when, when they're in their strollers, they literally just will point to it and say, oh, white car or, you know, whatever they see. But at home, it's a little different because what we do at home is we say, I say, I spy with my little eye something that is red. And they have to go and find something that is red and bring it to me. So ideally, it's like a block or a toy from the playroom. Um, so it's really fun. But the funny thing is, is when we went over to their house on Saturday, I picked up Liam and he's like, I spy, I spy, I spy. And I'm like, what are you saying? Well, first he said, I spy, I spy. And I'm like, what is he saying? And then he, and then I'm like, honey, I don't know what you're saying. And he goes, I spy. And he pointed to his eye. And then I knew what he meant. And Kirsten's like, oh my gosh, did you teach him that game? And I'm like, yeah, I did actually. And she's like, I've never played that with them. And so it was just so cute that he knows Nana is the I spy person. Um, and then it was cute because we were looking at a book of um, pictures that I made for the babies of all of our family members. And there was one of Papa. That's my dad. So that's their great grandfather. And I said, who's that? And Liam said, Papa. And he said, tickle, because my dad loves to tickle their tummies. And so it was so cute that he said, tickle, because he knows my dad tickles their tummies. So um, I really, it was really cute um, that I don't know. They're just, they're just, they're really, really coming to their own. And um, Miller has finally started saying that's mine when, um, when brother tries to take something away from him. So he's um, doing good with that because Liam usually would take it and Miller would just go somewhere else and play. But now Miller's starting to kind of hold his own. So we're proud of him for that. Um, Tabitha says, oh my gosh, I got my, um, wishing well stamp and die set today. So stinking cute. You're going to love them. You're going to love it. Tabitha. Sharon says they're really advancing verbally. You know what, Sharon? They really are. Um, it's, it's kind of surprising. So, because technically February, March, technically developmental wise, they're not two. Um, they are two February 28th, but because they were so early, they're technically not two, but um, we can just say they're two now. And uh, they're verbally, they are extremely, um, I think, advanced. Because keep in mind, when I was two, my mom loves to tell the story. When I was two, I had 13 words in my vocabulary. 
these kids almost put 13 words together in one sentence. Not quite. Miller's Miller's record sentence is five words. Um, so that was like a big deal. He said that, I think, on Saturday. Well, I mean, Friday. I think he said, Grandpa. Oh, he said, he said, he said, Grandpa put it in there. And uh, I don't know what we were talking about, but he said, Grandpa put it in there. Yeah, that's what he said. And I was like, ah, I'm like, dang, that was good, baby. Um, so, yeah, they're they're really um, they, they're they're really just. Oh. Um, Jeannie says kids pick up on so much more than we adults give them credit for. That is true, because sometimes I'll say, oh, my gosh. And then five seconds later, one of them will say, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, oh, sorry. And I got to like, be careful on what I say now, which is really not as easy. Ellen says, I'm impressed with their color recognition. Um, they do a uh, really good um, with their colors. It's, it's fun that they, um, they really know them. I mean, it's, it's kind of every once in a while, Liam will fudge, uh, make a little mistake. Like if it's purple, he might say pink once in a while, but usually 95% of the time they can do all their colors which kind of really surprises me. Um, Serenity says, did you teach them any signing? Um, we did. When they were first um, young, when they were younger, um, we taught them all done. I say we, no, Kirsten. <laughs> I, I can't take credit. Um, all done and um, more, of course. And they'll still do, they'll still sign more and say more, more, more. Um, thank you. Uh, they're, they're very good about, um, they both say thank you, but Liam will sign it and say it. So he'll say, Thank you. And it's so cute because Liam's the lover bug. He's the one that wants to hug and kiss. And he'll, he'll, when he hasn't seen you for a day, he'll come up to you and say, miss you. And he hugs you and he pats your back. He goes, miss you. And so, um, that's really sweet. Um, but, and, and Liam always does the, um, thank you. And it's just, it's cute. I got to get some of it on, um, on video. Uh, are you designing any more creative scene add-ons? Yes, we have two um, on the schedule for this year so far. Brown Bear. Oh, Karen, they love that book. They love that book. In fact, um, Kenny was reading it to one of the babies and the other one, I think he was reading it to Liam and Miller stopped what he was doing. And he ran over there and watched because they love Brown Bear. Um, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Um, they really love that. Um, I think... Um, Quilty says, when we were two, our parents didn't teach us like parents do now. We were still babies at two, not expected to do anything but be babies. Which, yeah, Quilty, and there's nothing wrong with that either. I think I think most of it is that they're around, I mean, they are really, um, they are really around a lot of adults a lot of the time. So, they, they, I mean, like at home, they play more independently. But when they're with Kenny and Stephanie, literally, it's, you know, we're like, with them, we're literally connected at the hip, which I don't know if that's good or bad, but you know, like we're really always with them one-on-one -on -one because it's fun. And in fact, on Saturday, when we went to their house, I walked in and Ken was behind me and the first one ran past me and went to Ken. And so the second one came to me and I said, there's a good thing we have too. Cause I don't like to share <laughs> because you know, I don't want how boring is that? Um, Jill says, what is the new time? Jill, the new time for the um, Crap and Corner on Thursdays is 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, so Dawn says, I told my friends, no baby talk to my daughter. You know what? That's interesting because I don't think we really do talk very much baby talk to our babies. Um, not, not consciously. It's just, I don't think we did. Um, we... One thing we do say is Gaga because they call Ken grandpa. Sometimes they'll go back to Gaga though, because they used to call him Gaga. Um, so I call him Gaga just because I think it's cute, but um, they also say grandpa too for him. And then the only other baby, I mean, baby talk, they say, well, like they'll say, oh, Katie, they honestly now think Katie's name is KK because that's how they started calling her. They started calling Katie KK. And now we all call her KK just because I think it's the cutest name in the world, KK. So um, that one probably will stick. Um, I don't think there's any others that will really stick because they usually just kind of say the real words, which is is crazy. It's crazy. Um, Darlene says, I will post on the new time on the fan page uh, later today so for everyone on the new time in the featured section. Thank you, my dear. Um, any sneak peeks for the seventh? Um, let me see. Um, 
the 7th. You guys, on the 7th, I don't know what I've said my favorite fold it has been in the past. A fold it is coming out on the 7th that can be made into a shaker very, very easily. Like extremely easily because I gave you the extra die to do it. But it is one of those that is going to be perfect on the banner. Perfect on the banner. Uh, like extremely perfect on the banner. But also perfect card. Let's get hot in here. Uh, perfect card, but also multi-use. Oh my gosh, I'm giving you all these hints. Multi-use. And we're releasing a new embellishment set because that embellishment set will help make this fold it even better. And the fold it is also coming with mini dies that will make perfect shaker pieces. It, this, I, I honestly, let me think for a second. Honestly, I think this is gonna be my favorite fold it to date. To date. And those of you that love fold it's, we have two fold it's coming out on the 15th. See, you guys, I told you I do fold it's all the time. And then a fold it on the 20th. See, you guys, I know we're all waiting for fold it's, but um, Karen says, sounds like they are developmental on track. Karen, they are. They they really, really are. Uh, I, maybe even a little ahead intellectually. However, physically, they're really small. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Pharrell says, got my um, club stamps today. Yay. Um, yeah, the fold it's. Jennifer says, my grandson, age four, fell on the floor. I asked if he's okay. And he said, I think I broke my spleen. Ooh. Well, you know what you need to do, Jennifer? This is the perfect, perfect uh, solution for breaking your spleen. <laughs> A Band-Aid on the tummy. Anytime, anytime Kate would have a tummy ache, we would put a Band-Aid on her tummy and it would make her tummy ache feel better. So if you break your spleen and you're four, chances are a Band-Aid on your tummy will make your spleen feel better. <laughs> Try it. It really works. <laughs> That's awesome, though. He's a genius. <laughs> um, Jeannie says, when are new icons coming for the personalized stamps? Um not soon, but we have new pers a new personalized stamp coming out in May that will be for club members only for a long time because I'm going to get slammed with personalized stamps. And somebody has to, they, they, are, they are more time consuming because somebody has to double check all of them. And so um, that is happening on May 1st. Um, because this is a big, big sneak peek because the, the personalized stamp, oh, actually two different personalized stamps are being released on that day, but one of them, this is this, this one, this is one of those Stephanie knocked her own socks off. One of the personalized stamps being released on May 1st is I'm, I keep looking over there because I'm reading what the release schedule says, um, coordinates with the club set that's coming out May 1st. So obviously, you know, the personalized stamps are going to take freakishly forever to get to you. However, you'll be able to order them that day, club members only, because I'm going to get slammed on orders. And let me just tell you, it's an awesome one. Now, you're going to come up with a couple different, one, wait to order it until, well, obviously you have to wait to order it until you see the club set because the club set will come out at the same time. But, and, and you can only, you'll be able to order them. They're not going to ever go off the schedule. So you can order different ones. But I know a lot of you are going to go, oh my gosh, I want it to say this. Or, oh my gosh, I want it to say this. Or, oh my gosh, I want it to say these two items. But just a heads up, it'll always be on the schedule. It's just going to be club members only for quite a while because I know I'm going to get slammed because it's such a good idea. So just saying. But yeah, it's going to be really awesome. 
Um, Oki says one of my new purple Karen bags will be just for my fold. It's, it's, it may take them both. Oki, I feel you. I feel you. I have quite a few filled up. I've also used the card maker. What was that thing called that we had? That was like the card maker. Uh, hang on. I don't remember what it was called, but it was an exclusive that we had with Tiff. And I use those two for my fold. It's because some of them are in drawer. Oh, the totally Tiffany crafty cutter die file set. That's the one. It's kind of expensive, but it's because it comes with so much. It's the little plastic boxes that you could put in a drawer and it comes with the magnet sheets and it comes with the bag, the, the pockets, but there's, um, there's only 24 left of those just a heads up, but that's also good if you don't want to use buddy bags, but either one will work perfectly because they're the same size roughly. Um, so um, Francine says small individuals are wickedly independent. My youngest was one month early, but her favorite phrase was, and still is, I can do it. I don't need help. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Um, uh, Sandra says, Oh, Stephanie, I have over 5,000 club points. How do you suggest I use them? Sandra, honestly, I expect you, I, I, suggest you use them when something big comes out and you necessarily can't really afford it, but then boom, throw those points in. And then now you can afford it. Right. So I would save it. I would save them until you're like, there's something out there that you really, really want and you can't really squeeze it into the budget this month, but then boom. Oh yeah, that's right. I have all those points. Then you get to use those. So I highly recommend that. Um, it's cool because sometimes I'll see um, a big order come in, like somebody's bought some, like a couple big things or something. And I'm like, Oh, wow, that was a big order. But then I see they used all their club points and I'm like, yes, good for them. Yes. Um, so then it's awesome. Um, are you done retiring items for a while? Kim, actually that was on my sketch on my brain schedule yesterday to, um, start looking at, um, spreadsheets again regarding those items. I haven't um, gotten a chance to do that yet. Jennifer says, any HSN updates? No, Jennifer, unfortunately. However, I will be doing an uh, the HSN Facebook Live tomorrow night. Um, doesn't mean they bought anything, but um, we're going to be talking about a couple products that are already on our website. Uh, so maybe some new people will see us. Um, let's see. Sharon says, I'm doing that for the exploding box card with points and anniversary gift certificate. Yay. Good idea. Good idea. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. Um, Ooh, Michelle got her purple totally Tiffany bags and Pacific kit. Yay. 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 Ooh, Chris D says I have 71, 7,100 points saved up. Awesome. Yeah. Save it for something big because then you're like, oh, yes, it was like almost free or something like that, which is really awesome. Right. Will we be able to use club points for postage in the future? Arlette, no. Um, the system doesn't uh, doesn't allow for that. Sorry. Um, Janet says, I use my points to get the large platinum machine and only paid $49 for it. Win-win. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yay. Quilty says, everyone email HSN and ask for stamps of life to return. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you can try. You can try. I, I mean, I'm just kind of like, okay, well, if they don't want us, they don't want us. I mean, I'm, I, I keep sending in my, my proposals, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. God has a plan. Not gonna, you know, I mean, it'd be nice, but, uh, hi Donna. Good morning on Facebook. So I think I'm trying to think if, um, there's anything else I wanted to tell you all. I will ask Amy to add this, um, chart to our extra section. Um, give it a day or two because I don't know what um, she's working on today. But um, I'm trying to think um, if there's anything else that I wanted to talk to you about. Dawn says she's saving her club points for Thanksgiving. Good idea. Good idea. Speed cat bath. Um, I won't repeat what you said, but I can understand your feelings. Um, uh, Dana says, will you look into postage costs for Canada? It's crazy expensive to get things shipped here. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Um, but just so you know, Dana, um, whatever is over, like, so let's say it charges you 50 bucks to ship something. Um, 
they do two audits twice a month on all shipping charges and they go in and look and say, okay, how much did it charge? To how much did it really cost to ship it? Now, if it really only costs $30, they will give you a refund in your gift certificate um, for what you overpaid. But unfortunately, shipping international bites, bites. So I highly recommend you order smaller items at one at a time. For example, order a fold it and you could probably do a fold it in a stamp set. That shipping's only going to be like a dollar extra. Um, and it goes in a regular envelope. So you don't have to pay customs because it goes in a regular envelope. Um, or like one slimline die, regular envelope. You should be fine. Oh, hang on. I think that should be fine. I don't know. Check, check. But anything bulky or big is going to cost you a freaking fortune. It sucks. It sucks. But they do audit them twice a month and they do try to give out um, refunds whenever possible. Um, Darlene says, I got a few gift cards from Ken in the office for my shipping. Thank you. Yeah. So we are always try to do that whenever it overcharges. We always, always um, do the, our best to, um, to, give you a gift certificate, um, on that. Um, Patty says, is there a thank you fold it coming out soon? Yes, there is. Um, I designed it literally last year. Um, but I don't know when, um, I don't see it right off the bat, but yeah. Oh, there it is. May, May it's coming out. Hmm. Okay, you guys, I better head out. I get the babies today at 12.15 by myself for a while. Whoa! So um, I got to try to do some work in the next hour and a half before I get that. Um, there is not a notify me button for the under the sea class. Lou Jean wants me to know. Thank you. I will write that down and make sure that gets added. Because that should be there. Um uh, Stephanie, will you be re-releasing the egg fold it from HSN? Not this year. And, uh, Ken and I've talked and he said he wants me to do a new one. So I'll probably end up doing a new one for next year. Um, but eventually the HSN, the egg fold, it should be on the website. I'll have it look, uh, unless it's on HSN right now, but I'll have them look. So you guys, I need to head out. Thank you, Amanda. Enjoy your grandsons. Yes. Um, but you guys, Thank you. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean the world to us. If you wanted to watch this and you just jumped on, um, it is recorded, so you'll be able to watch it again. Um, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so thankful that we can just spend a couple minutes on Mondays just hanging out together and visiting and catching up. Um, I want you all to have a blessed day. Um, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. I will see you Thursday 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tell a friend. That always helps us. And I will see you Thursday. Okay. And we're going to make something really, really fun. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.